What is up, fellas? Lady fellas. This is your boy Rowdy, and I'm coming at you with a wacky weapons video. And today we got six. That's right, count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Crazy, absolutely awesome, wacky weapon user submissions. That's right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. And if you guys don't see your user submission, go ahead and keep watching for the future videos because you will definitely be getting a spot or your money back. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first one comes to us from Baloney Shawoni, who gives us crippling depression. What was only available in real life now comes to us in the virtual world, in lead form. So this is going to be a hunting rifle. Sorry, this is going to be a combat rifle with the double-sided receiver, Gamma Lorenzo's artifact, hunting full stock, junk electrification module, chromed out with two forms and two of your daily doses of crippling <clears throat> depression. So anyways, let's go ahead and check this bad boy out, see what we do. So we're being invaded by Myrlurks, and uh, we're going to do what we can to be the number one band or something. I don't know. Yeah. Come on, Myrlurk, glowing Myrlurk King. You're a bitch. And you, your, your glow isn't as glowing as the other people here or something. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, mourn him, mourn him! Oh, he's already done mourning. Oh no, he's not. He's he's having a he's having a rough time. They all deal with it in their own ways. Anyways, this is going to be a uh, pretty. It's going to be a pretty dope weapon actually. It's going to be a uh, damage of 72, an energy damage of 21, uses the 45 rounds, fire rate of 33, range of 203, accuracy of 69, and a value of 13.1. Sorry, a weight of 13.1 and a value of 1,024. Next one I got coming for you guys is going to be the Big Seal, who gives us the Reduction Rifle. That's right, the Reduction Rifle. Now when you hear a name like that, and you see a gun like this, it strikes fear into the heart of your enemies. Well, yeah. Actually, I haven't fired this weapon yet, but... It looks like a beastly motherfucker. So this is going to be a assault rifle with the powerful automatic receiver, missile standard barrel, plasma recoil compensating stock, assault quick eject drum mag, assault reflex sight, shotgun suppressor, and two two-shot effects. So let's, let's just see what we can do with this bad boy. Damn! <laughs> yes! Dude, this is so beast. I feel like that one movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger has that gun and it's like a super cool gun that like shoots lasers and shit. And, and yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Damn, I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> Damn. So we put a dent in. Ah! Damn. We put a dent in their army for sure. So with a crazy, this is an insane amount of damage, 259 per shot. That means each individual shot does 259 damage. You can crowd control like none other with this gun. Uses the 5.56 rounds, fire rate of 113, range of 161, accuracy of 56, 22.1 for the weight, and a value of 1,232. Definitely reduction rifle fits for sure. I mean, just look at this gun. Oh, look down the sight. It even looks beastly, dude. Oh, that's so dope. Check that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, next one comes to us from D Horse Man, who brings us the old lady. Now, this is a cool ass looking lever action rifle. Well, if I could have this gun in real life, I'd pay like. I mean, I wouldn't pay more than a G for it, honestly, because I'm a broke ass. But at the same time, this is a dope looking, a dope looking rifle. And uh, I mean, I feel like since there's, you know, only the one, adding a few more in could be, you know, beneficial. Remember the Lincoln's repeater? Remember the Lincoln's repeater? Anyways, it's gonna be a uh, lever action rifle with the advanced receiver, bolt long ported barrel, musket full stock, lever glow sights, hunting suppressor, projectile override for the 38, explosive, and dead eye. 
So let's see what this bad boy can do. Oh, one of the things I love about Deadeye. Boom! Come on, come on! Yeah, he giving up. He done. Boom! You outies. Done, son. So yeah, beastly weapon. It's gonna have a crazy damage of 242 per shot. That's what you gotta love lever actions. Super crazy powerful. Uses a 38 rounds. Super abundant, so it's a convenient rifle. It's gonna have a fire rate of six, range of 176, accuracy of 77, weight of 15.1, and a value of 1,762. So I'm definitely gonna say this is an end game rifle. I mean, you don't really necessarily need as much power early on in the game. Unless you're just looking for a god weapon, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, next one is Matt Speaker, who gives us the Nuka Zuka. And this man is obviously insane. I mean, if I could just, you know, very quickly direct your attention to the damage. 3,665. Are you kidding me? Three thousand six hundred and see I just let that soak in for a second. Okay, now that we're all on the same page, check this out. Forty four Magnum lever oh sorry, not a forty four Magnum, this is a railway rifle with the lever advanced receiver, plasma improved sniper barrel, alien sharpshooters grip, uh, gauss capacitor, boosting coil, railway long recon scope, lever suppressor, projected override for the thirst zapper quantum and chromed out with the Lorez uh, chrome and then two uh, two shot legendary effects so yeah absolutely insane I mean oh boy oh boy you know what I'm actually gonna save this one to shoot last because I'm scared it's gonna kill and obliterate everything and I'm like kind of like I need some of these guys still <laughs> anyways I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it I'll come back to it it's not any less important either ones than the other ones I'm just saying I need some breathing room with that guy <laughs> all right so the next one's gonna come to us from Nathan V who gives us the 44 alien rifle and the base of this weapon is actually a 44 magnum so yeah, crazy but effective is the is what I'm gonna say here. Honestly, I have no idea. It could go either way, but it looks like it could do some some putting some work. So yeah, it's gonna have a 44 Magnum radium standard receiver, double short barrel, musket full stock, hunting large quick eject mag, lightning standard sights, pipe large bayonet, and a projectile override for the alien blaster. So, uh, no legendary effects were listed, but I just added two powerful legendary effects just because, you know, give it that little extra oh. But, um, yeah. So let's check this bad boy out. You okay? He didn't look too happy about that. So sorry. Go, 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 go. Damn! <laughs> oh man, this this guy is definitely not feeling the wrath. Ah! Oh! <laughs> of the 44 alien rifle. Come on! Come on! Bring it, bitch. There we go. I think that was more her than it was me, though, to be to be completely honest with you. Anyways, this is going to be a damage of 158. Uses the microfusion cells, fire rate of 6, range of 116, accuracy of 75, weight of 8.3, and a value of 865. Now, the final one that I got for you guys comes to us from Serbia C, who gives us the, Inti sorry, the Institute Breacher. 
And this is gonna be a it's gonna it's a cool looking little weapon. You know, it's a beastly looking little pistol. And I figure like this is gonna be like kinda like a you know, you're breaching in there, you need something that's quick. I'm not even really sure if it's quick. Um, not really high damage, so I guarantee this is gonna be a, a good little option for you know the early parts of the game. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Oh god damn auto save! <laughs> you bastard! You're the bane of my existence. Oh yeah, this is a good little breaching gun. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend using this for you know, a, a, kind of like you know a bunch of enemies like we are showing. Damn. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh shit. All right. You know what? So yeah, <laughs> damage of 33, microfusion cells, fire rate of 66, range of 305, accuracy of 76, a weight of 4.9, value of 553. Definitely a good little entry level gun, um, something to use kind of early on, you need uh, kind of rapid fire, it's, it's, good. it's got a good fire rate to it, so it kind of makes up for the, uh, the low damage there, but the assassins makes it so that it's, you know, 100% more effective against humans, because there's two of those effects on there. So with that being said, you're looking at maybe 66 damage per shot against humans. So definitely a good little uh, a little room clear, definitely for sure. But um, that being said, we have one more matter of business to attend to. <laughs> yes. Dude, what are you doing? Ah! You bastard! What? Don't, dude! Are you serious? Okay, I don't trust you, dog. Damn! I took him the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, so this is obviously not an end game weapon. This is a god weapon. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, this is definitely a god weapon. So I mean, if you're looking to obliterate uh, obliterate literally anything, uh, I think we found your gun. Beastly gun. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't really fit in his hand on the bottom, but it all kind of lines up when you're in a third person or first person. Look at this. Not bad. And so you can shoot it kind of close range, but you can also shoot it far, which is... Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so yeah, definitely, if you need the power, you got the power in the palm of your hands. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you appreciated, or not appreciated. I hope you liked the video. Oh, my God. I feel like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that sounded so terrible. I'm going to hell now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave me a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you're feeling particularly dangerous, go ahead and do all three. Hey, look, there's a guy over there. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys, and deuces.